everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my Kindle Unlimited recommendations for the fall season plus my TBR for fall, specifically on Kindle Unlimited. I also want to say you do not have to have a Kindle or any e-reader to get Kindle Unlimited. I know it's deceiving. You can get your Kindle app on your phone, just log in with your Amazon account, and you can read books on your phone with Kindle Unlimited. So you don't have to buy a Kindle unless you really want to. I highly recommend a Kindle. I really love mine. I got my Kindle a little bit ago. I think I got it in May. I started becoming acquainted with it and then I fell in love with it. And I have a review of the Kindle Basic already up on my channel. I also posted some Kindle Unlimited recommendations in that video. Normally whenever I reference a video, I like to put the thumbnail up of the video. So I'm referencing this Kindle book review. Then I go to find the thumbnail for it. I'm wearing the exact same outfit. I love that sweatshirt. It's from He Would Love First, that company, but like how embarrassing is that? I'm wearing the exact same outfit in both of my Kindle videos. <laughs> and today I want to go specifically in depth on fall books on Kindle Unlimited. We can just hop on into it. First things first, what is Kindle Unlimited? Kindle Unlimited is a service that you can pay $10 a month for and you get a bunch of books on Kindle for free. I think it's a fantastic deal. It's really rare to find one book for $10, let alone multiple books for $10. So if you're only paying $10 a month to get a lot of books for free, it's really evening out in the long run. Now I will say not every book is available on Kindle unlimited. It's not unlimited. It is teasing, but there are a wide variety of books that you can find. Sorry, my self in the mirror is really distracting me. Okay, so even though you can't find every single book, you're going to find a lot. I've had my Kindle since May. I've read two or three books every month on my Kindle. I have not purchased one book yet. I've really tried to stick to just Kindle Unlimited books so far, just to see how many I can read. And so far, I haven't tried any other book that's not on Kindle Unlimited. So I have gone through, I've researched a lot, I've looked at books that are on Kindle Unlimited. If you don't want to purchase Kindle Unlimited, you don't have to, you can still purchase these books or read them at the library if they have them. But if you have Kindle Unlimited, this is really gonna help you out to narrow down books that you wanna read this fall season. When I think of fall, I think of cozy reading, I think of cozy romance, fantasy, and mysteries and thrillers. That's really what I'm gonna be focusing on. First things first is the Sweater Weather series. I'm currently reading the first one, which is Just Don't Fall by Emma St. Clair. And I think the rest in the series are written by different authors, but they still have the same kind of vibe. This book I'm really loving so far, so that's why I'm putting it in the recommendations because I can already tell it's gonna be a four or five stars. It is a clean romance, there's no spice, there's no bad language. It's just a really sweet romance and it's a hockey romance. I've never read a hockey romance, but I've always wanted to, but I thought they might be a little too spicy for me so this one that's really clean is really really cool and I don't really know why but all coziness kind of goes with hockey so I mean it's called Just Don't Fall it's specifically for the fall season the girl's name is Parker and the guy's name is Logan Parker is the social media manager of this hockey team and Logan is now a player on the hockey team. They have history, they were really good friends growing up, something happened that we don't know of yet, and now they're back together for this second chance. The tension's there, the angst is there, the chemistry's there, so I'm loving it, but it's still very clean. I'm absolutely eating it up. It's really random, but does anyone have these mugs of artwork that you made when you were in elementary school? Like, look at this. And here's my turtle from, I don't even know what grade, Oh yeah, it says it, 2012. So what is that, 11 years ago? I was in, I don't know, I'm 20 now, I was nine. What grade are you in at nine? At 99. Fourth grade. Fourth grade. <laughs> okay. Here's my fourth grade mug. So that is a cozy romance series. If you want the complete opposite of that, here is a thriller author that I highly recommend. Frida McFadden. I think all of her books are on Kindle Unlimited. They're really good. She became really popular for The Housemaid. All of her books are psychological thrillers. I read The Housemaid, which was really good. That was one of my favorites. I read The Housemaid Secret, which is the sequel after The Housemaid, which I also recommend if you've read the first Housemaid book, but it's not better than the first one. I read Never Lie, which I really liked. Never Lie is about a couple who is house hunting and they get stuck in this mansion that they're looking at. They have to stay there overnight and the wife stumbles upon this room filled with audio recordings and tapes. Turns out a psychologist lived there and she taped all of her appointments with her patients. So she's going through all these patients' lives and stories. There's also an eeriness to the house and she keeps hearing things. She thinks someone's in the house. There's this creepiness and it all ties together perfectly at the end. Big plot twist that I did not see coming. And the most recent one I read was Ward D. This is about a medical student who is in her clinical rotation. She's on her psychiatry rotation right now. She's assigned an overnight shift at a locked 
psychiatric unit called Ward D. During her overnight shift, a bunch of crazy stuff happens. She encounters someone that's a patient there that she knows from her past. There's this plot going on behind the scenes that you have no idea who in the world is behind, but you know something is not right in this unit. Those are my little teasers. I highly recommend Freedom McFadden. There's a new one I think that came out recently called The Coworker that I'm interested in. I fly through Freedom McFadden's books. I don't know what kind of stuff she has in those pages or screens, but I eat it up. It's so fast. I normally read them within a day or two really, really quick. And they're not creepy, creepy. Like you can read them before bed. If you're a scaredy cat like I am, I can't read things that are really scary before bed. But these aren't really scary. They're just more like eerie and kind of creepy and make you think a lot. Another psychological thriller is The Perfect Marriage. I actually have a physical copy of it. I didn't even know it was on Kindle Unlimited. I would have read it there if I knew. This is about a husband and a wife and the husband is accused of killing his mistress and his wife is the lawyer who has to defend him in this case. Crazy relationships there. That's wild. But there's some scheming in this one and a huge plot twist. It's very interesting. I will say there's a little bit of spice that I did not appreciate, but I skipped there. It's very easy to skip. Okay, switching subjects. We're now going into fantasy. My pride and joy, one of my favorite books this year is Divine Rivals. This is actually on Kindle Unlimited. I'll show you what the physical copy looks like because you're going to want to buy the physical copy to have on your bookshelf. Here it is in all its glory and beauty. This book is about Roman and Iris. They are rivals in the workplace. They're both journalists. It's set in a fantasy world. It's very easy to understand though. It's a slower fantasy. There's this backdrop of fantasy but really the main focus is the romance. Roman and Iris type letters to each other and have this interesting connection between them. Things happen that put them together in a war zone. It's just beautiful writing. Um, the romance is really beautiful and it ends on a huge cliffhanger. The second book is coming out I think the end of this year. I'm really excited about that but you have to read this book. It's so cozy and so sweet. All right it happened in Nashville series. It's not specifically fall but it's just such a funny romantic comedy. I think it's a great palate cleanser. I love anything that Sarah Adams writes. She writes clean romances but they're always funny. There's so much tension but also it's just very witty writing. While it's not specifically for the fall season I think it's great for fall because it's cozy, it's funny, it's really cute. Pumpkin Spice and Not So Nice. This is perfect for the fall season if you can't tell from the title. I just recently read this and it's just a really sweet rom-com. The girl works at a pumpkin patch on the weekends. The guy is this grumpy businessman. They meet in an interesting way and he asks her to help him with his communication skills. So they have these little lessons where she teaches him things or gets him to open up and talk more. There's a little bit of fake dating in there which I eat up fake dating. It's one of my favorite tropes. It's so cute. It's really clean. There's no spice in this. There's no language. The atmosphere at the pumpkin patch is just perfect for October. All of the Harry Potter books are on Kindle Unlimited, which I find really interesting that they put such a popular series on Kindle Unlimited, which is just wonderful. I just recently read the first Harry Potter book and I'm looking forward to finishing the series. If you don't know much about the Harry Potter series, I can give you a little intro. Harry Potter is this young boy who learns that he is from a family of wizards, so he goes to to wizard school, Hogwarts, and while he's there he has to figure out this mystery, save Hogwarts, and he has two friends along the way. I love the found family. Fantasy elements are really interesting but they're very easy to understand and I know that the books get more mature so I'm excited for that because yes the first one was a little childish but it was really easy to read. I'm excited to grow up with the characters and see how they mature and how the books mature as well because the books definitely get thicker along the way. The Lunar Chronicles series, not many people talk about this. This is by Marissa Meyer. She wrote The Renegades books that are kind of blowing up everywhere right now. The first book is Cinder, which I feel like a lot of us have seen when we grew up like in elementary school and middle school. We saw this book. Not many people that I know have read it. It is a fairy tale retelling. It's more science fiction than fantasy. The main girl is a cyborg. She gets caught up in the royal family. She meets the prince. So there's this romance and tension there, but she's also just such a strong female character. She has powers that she doesn't know about, and she's connected in a really interesting way to the people on the moon. The lunar Chronicles Luna, you know, moon. There's these people in the moon that have these powers. They can manipulate what you see and what you think and what you do, but she cannot be manipulated by them. And she's trying to figure out why can I not be manipulated by them? Who am I and how can I save the world? This series gets progressively better too. They add in more fairy tales and more couples. Of course, the first book is based on Cinderella. The second book is based on Little Red Riding Hood. Third book is based on Rapunzel. And the fourth book is based on Snow White. It's just wonderful series. And it's all on Kindle Unlimited, which trust me, you're going to want to read it on Kindle Unlimited for the fourth book. It's 
over 800 pages <laughs> so i have the physical copy but i read most of it on kindle unlimited i'm complaining about it being that long but i flew through it because it was just really good the hunger games is also on kindle unlimited which i find really fascinating love this series i'm sure we've all heard of the hunger games i hadn't read it a couple years ago i was really late to the game if you haven't heard about it it's about katniss and she has to compete in these games that the society puts on to win for her district it's really just a war zone in the hunger games found family is great they make really good friends the romance is really good. There's a little bit of a love triangle, but pretty much the whole time you're rooting for one person or you should be rooting for one person. I also really enjoyed the movies, which is rare to say for me to enjoy a book series and the movie series. Okay, Mariana Zapata is an author who writes a bunch of slow burn romances. I've only read one, but I loved it so much that I'm just going to recommend her as an author because it was that good. I read Wait For It, which is a romance between a, I would sort of call her a single mom, even though she's the aunt, but a single mom and then this grumpy standoffish guy. He comes coaches her kids baseball team so there's a little bit of a sports romance in there but it's more character driven you get to see them develop as characters you get to see the mundane tasks they do it's not really plot driven but I actually really enjoyed it being a slow burn because you really got that emotional connection before they ever touched like they didn't hug at all until like 85% through the book which I really appreciated because there was not much spice I just had to skip one scene at the end that I didn't care for at all but really beautiful just beautiful writing. I'm really excited to read more Mariana Zapata books. And I'm so glad they're on Kindle Unlimited because the physical copies of all these books on Amazon are over $20. And that's just so expensive. The last two I'm going to mention aren't my absolute favorite, but I think a lot of people would like them. First is Ghosted. This one I thought was decent. This is a celebrity romance. The boy is a celebrity. He's this famous actor and the girl knew him when they were younger and she's raising her child. So it's a second chance romance. There's a celebrity aspect to it. There's the kid. I love when kids are in books because they bring so much humor and so much fun. This one did have some strong language and some spice in it that I had to skip. That's a forewarning. Still, the writing was really good. Marriage for One. I read this more recently. This is A Marriage of Convenience, which I never read in marriage of convenience and I just ate it up really because it's just fake dating to the next level. However, I do not condone marriage of conveniences in real life. Marriage is sacred. Marriage is biblical. It's a huge decision so don't take that out of context. <laughs> I just like reading about it. That kind of reminds me of the TikTok sound. I'm not gonna do it. I was just thinking about it. <laughs> this guy proposed, I don't remember their names at all. I'm terrible at remembering names. They're in this marriage for business purposes. He's a really sweet guy. Just the little acts of service he does are just so sweet. So if you love acts of service, if that's one of your love languages, highly recommend this book. Yes, there's some spice. Yes, there's some language. But if you wanna skip through that, like I did, you'll still really enjoy it. Those are all the recommendations that I have. Now I'm going to quickly share my TBR. That means to be read the list of books that I want to read during the fall season on my Kindle. Number one, Accidentally Amy by Lynn Painter. Lynn Painter wrote better than the movies. She wrote, what is that one? The Do-Over. Those are her young adult romances. I've never read an adult romance by her, so I'm not sure how I would like it. The cover of this book, is very fall though. When I was reading about it, it's a grumpy sunshine, they have a meet cute, and it's a friends to lovers. So I like those tropes. I think I would like it. Another book I want to read is Out on a Limb. I don't know much about it. I've just seen it kind of blow up all over the place. So I don't know. The cover is really pretty. Little White Lies by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I just recently found out this is on Kindle Unlimited. I've been wanting to read it. This is her debutante series. Jennifer Lynn Barnes wrote the Inheritance Game series and the Natural series. I loved the Inheritance Game series and I started the Natural series. I haven't finished it yet, but it was really good. I just know I love her writing. She always has short chapters and it's always fast easy writing and to have rich people and have this mystery in the debutante series seems really interesting. If We Were Villains is on Kindle Unlimited which I just recently found out I was really excited about and it is Dark Academia. I've only read one Dark Academia book that was The Maidens and I really enjoyed it. Darling Venom. This is an older popular book and the blurb on it I think is really interesting. It's my first love ended in tragedy. My second began with his brother. I know this is deeper and has a lot of darker deeper topics so I'm not recommending it. This is just something that's on my radar to read. And lastly, The Lachlan Feuds. This is a fantasy series that I haven't heard a ton about, but I have heard that some people really enjoy it. I don't really know what else it's about besides that it's a fantasy series. Those are my books that I want to read. Those are the books on my TBR for Kindle Unlimited specifically. The Bible verses today are 1 Thessalonians 5, 12 through 13. We ask you brothers to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. This verse is just really straightforward. Respect Respect people in authority, respect other people around you, and be at peace with them. We're going to have arguments with people, but we can deal with them in a respectful, mature manner. I just love how straightforward this verse is. Just respect others, be kind, be at peace. <laughs> 
I really hope you enjoyed this video and got some good book recommendations for this wonderful fall season. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day and be a blessing to others today. Bye guys.